Level 2, the CTF player. Congratulations, you're starting to touch real hacking. You've entered the world of capture the flag competitions, where you realize security is way more than just breaking into stuff. You now understand things like CQL injections, XSS, and maybe even SSRF. You've used Burp Suite without needing a tutorial open in another tab, and you know what a reverse shell is without googling it every five seconds. But the real eye-opener is when you do your first CTF and get absolutely destroyed. You thought you were a genius, then you saw some 16-year-old from Ukraine solving challenges in 30 seconds, and now you're questioning your entire life. This is where many people give up, but if you push through, you might just make it to level 3. Level 3, the real-world hacker. This is where things get serious. You're no longer just playing games, you're applying your knowledge in real-world security. Maybe you've done bug bounties, worked on actual penetration tests, or even helped companies secure their systems. You realize hacking isn't about running exploits. It's about understanding how systems work and where they can break. This is also the point where you start getting really paranoid. You no longer trust public Wi-Fi. You assume your phone's microphone is always on, and you've probably considered moving to an off-grid cabin just to avoid government surveillance. Congratulations, you're starting to think like a real hacker. Level 4. Advanced Hacker Slash Researcher 